Oh, Destiny. A game that's hype died out almost as quickly as it seemed to be built up. But has Bungie improved upon the formula? Has Bungie learned from their mistakes? Or will Destiny 2 just be more of the same game? Let's talk about it now. Now all we have to go off of right now is just the beta that just closed for Destiny 2 in which we got a co-op strike, we got the Crucible, and the first storyline mission. And I gotta say, it's a pretty fun game, but like I said, I don't know if it's gonna fall into the same trap as Destiny 1 did, in which it won't be able to retain the player base and keep everyone interested. I mean, the gameplay is very similar, but that's to be expected. It's a continuation of a franchise that Bungie is trying to build here. I mean, take a look at Call of Duty. Each Call of Duty installment is basically the same thing, just set in a different time period. You get a campaign, a multiplayer, and now zombies each year because we can't be innovative apparently in this franchise. But Destiny has a chance to build something great, something that could possibly dethrone Call of Duty in a sense. But I'm afraid that Destiny 2 will not live up to expectations, just as Destiny 1 did. There was a lot of problems with it. Like I said, when I played the beta, I had a ton of fun, but I don't know if it will be able to hold me throughout a few years of gameplay and a few years of content. So let's talk about the story first. It's a vast improvement from what we had in Destiny 1. Destiny 1's story was essentially non-existent unless you had the Taken King, which I didn't have. So, yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to buy the Taken King. I didn't have enough fun with the game anymore because after the second DLC, I basically stopped playing. Because usually that's how Destiny goes, and I know I'm getting off track right now, but that's usually how Destiny goes, at least the first one, is once you have all your stuff, you got your exotics, your equipment, your gear, and all that, what else is there really for you to do? What else is there really for you to get? You can play the Crucible, that's about it, rank up in that, but once you have all your equipment, you're basically set and you got nothing to grind for then. In which, for me, that started to be the case where I just didn't have fun because there was nothing for me to really do. Even though Call of Duty, you basically go on till rank a thousand, but I'll still keep playing if I reach that. So I really don't know what the difference is for me between me not enjoying Destiny as much as I would enjoy Call of Duty. And like I said, I enjoyed Destiny 1 for many months when it first came out. But the content just died out for me. And it died out for a lot of people, I'm aware. Because a lot of my friends I know did not buy the Taken King. A lot of people that I know that actually had the game on disc resold it because they just didn't play it anymore. They weren't having fun with the game. But the story was greatly better in this. We had one story mission that basically had more of a story than the whole first game. And I really do enjoy that. I think if I end up getting this game, I'm going to really enjoy the storyline. I'm going to enjoy my time of playing that. But like I said, once you play that storyline once, is it really worth going back and playing? Some games, like certain Call of Duty installments, have a storyline that you can go back and play and have a ton of fun with. I don't know if it's going to be that way with this game. Hopefully it is. But then you got your Strike and you got your Crucible, which are literally the same thing. The gameplay is exactly the same as Destiny 1. Like I said, that's to be expected. There's nothing wrong with keeping the same formula of gameplay if that's what works, if that's what keeps players interested. You know, you still got your three subclasses that are the same subclasses as you had in the first installment, and you have a few different abilities. I didn't really like the Titan's ability with the shield. I prefer the ground pound, and I'm glad that that's still in the game, you know? It gives you an option for the people that enjoyed the first game. You know, you kind of retain the same elements. So, I enjoy that they did that. They didn't change everything completely. Graphically speaking, it looks exactly the same. I know I'm kind of being nitpicky with that, but I kind of just got to say, I'm, you know, I'm getting everything out there. So, graphically, it looks the same, which isn't a problem. The game looks great. The story seems very interesting, but the gameplay in and of itself seems exactly the same, which is what I'm very scared of about this game is because if it falls into the same trap that Destiny 1 did, which is, you know, you play it, you have a ton of fun, first DLC drops, you're playing raids, you're doing all this, you're grinding, you're having a shit ton of fun, the game is going to be a blast. But then after six months' time, are you still going to be playing it? Are you still going to want to enjoy the game? Destiny comes out in September, and then you got a Call of Duty st installment in November, and there's a bunch of other games that are going to be coming out this year. This year has a great lineup for games, but... Is Destiny going to be able to hold that player base? And that's the basis of this argument. Is it going to be more of the same? I know I kind of keep saying the same exact thing over and over and over. But that's truly what I believe, is that this game might fall into that same trap. I'm probably just going to buy the Standard Edition and possibly buy the Season Pass or the DLCs if I'm having a ton of fun with it. But for right now, all I see this game doing is basically following the same exact formula as Destiny 1, just with a better storyline in this. 
The Crucible was basically exactly the same, and like I said, I don't find too much enjoyment in the Crucible. I play more for the PvE. I don't play for the PvP as much. I'll play it, but definitely prefer playing the PvE modes, the strikes, the raids, the missions, you know, all of those things are what keep me playing. And if they can find a way to, you know, retain me as a player, I will have no problem shelling out money for this game. I mean, look at Rainbow Six Siege. That's a game I love playing so much, and I've I've spent so much money on that just by buying the season passes. I bought some R6 credits once in a while. That game still retains retains me as a player because it's still very enjoyable. While there's not many different game modes, they're all the same. You have a bunch of different maps, different operators. The gameplay is different almost every time, and maybe that's going to be the case for Destiny 2. But basically, for Destiny 1, once you played it once, you played them all, you know? Uh, each each strike, each mission basically played out the same exact way. Maybe enemies will be a little different this time, but you never know. So I'm really hoping, I have high hopes for this game. I'm going to be purchasing it, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be able to retain a player base. I think it's going to fall into the same trap as Destiny 1 did. And that's basically all I got to say for you guys. I wanted to get a short video out there talking about Destiny 2, talking about if it's going to be more of the same. So I'd like to thank you guys for sticking around, watching this quick video on Destiny 2, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!